April 22nd. I'm Taylor Balcom with your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. <music> Megan Peterson will be back next week. A local man dumped non-toxic plumbing dye in a Catch Can Creek on Wednesday, causing it to turn a bright green for a short time. Catch Can police officer Charles Johnson spoke to the man, who said he came across the dye and thought it would be funny to dump it in the creek and make people wonder why the creek was green. The man was not arrested or cited Wednesday afternoon. A Juno man hopes to deploy a water collection system south of Ketchikan that would be capable of storing billions of gallons of fresh water for transport to a parched California. Stephen Bohe's project would involve a 100-foot submerged water pipeline and use of waterways in Boca de Quadra, an inlet between Ketchikan and Canada. Public comment for the ambitious project closed this week, and several environmental organizations, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, and the U.S. Forest Service all submitted negative comments. Bohe said his project would benefit both people and the environment by refilling California aquifers with fresh water from Alaska. In local schools, Ketchikan High School hosted more than 650 students in the Southeast Regional Music Festival this past weekend. Musicians from around Southeast Alaska spent three days practicing, learning, and performing in the non-competitive event. Adjudicators from around the country judged the shows and led workshops for each band and choir after their performances. Ketchikan will host Music Fest again in 2019. In local sports, a trio of Ketchikan High School teams have home events this weekend. The Lady King softball team hosts Thunder Mountain Friday at 5 p.m. and Saturday at 4 p.m. at Norman Walker Field. Boys soccer has matches against Juno Douglas at 8 p.m. Friday and an undetermined time on Saturday at Esther Shea Field. And the track team will host five teams from Southeast Alaska in its Ketchikan Invitational Meet on Friday and Saturday. That's it. Check out this weekend edition's waterfront section for an update on local marina projects. Here's the photo of the week. This has been Taylor Balkan with the Ketchikan Daily News Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend.